Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this. Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. Please make sure your hands are clean before touching anything, all right? Fight well. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and mare fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Aliad, Rema, David, or even Farmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience, but can you feel that? This marvelous object, it practically radiates magicka, and yet it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aran is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must agree. No, it is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We're involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Sigic Order here in the College. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. Technically, that is true, but I still report to the Old Merry Dominion, and I cannot ignore this situation. Don't worry. You can return to your petty squabbles and meaningless research as soon as this matter is resolved. Now, 
You are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds. Please do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. It is good to meet you in person. I'd simply like to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance, and attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thormor associate. Nevertheless, my Order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. I presume you refer to Onkano's distaste for the Sigic Order. The Thalmor see our Order as a threat because we have power, and we will not allow them to control us. I assure you that we mean you no harm. As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. We believe that your efforts should be directed towards dealing with the aftermath, but we cannot predict what that will be. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. He was once a student here at the college. Now he is... something different. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Were you about to say something? Well, what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here she is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. <clears throat> I'm not sure what just happened. But I assure you, I will get to the bottom of it. Whatever it is those Sijiks are up to, they cannot be trusted. For all we know, he's here to scout out the college. I'm sure they want to undermine our efforts. This, this orb, the Eye of Magnus, whatever you want to call it, it's clearly powerful, and no doubt they want it for themselves. 
I expect to be informed if they make any future attempts to contact you. The what? No, no, I'm quite sure I have no idea what you're talking about. I suggest you mind your own business and return to whatever it is you do here. You look a bit... Pe Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Uh, until next time. Why are my research material- The auger? Mm, tragic story, really. At least, the way I heard it. But that was a long time ago. It was some experiment gone horribly wrong. Ghastly results, I was told. And his ghost still roams the halls, they say. Of course, on further reflection, that may have simply been an attempt to scare me. Hmm... Perhaps I'll ask Tolfdir what really happened. I understand he was here at the time. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Once again, I have found very insulting notes left in my personal You know, illusion really is the least appreciated of the schools of magic. Is it true? One of the Sigics was here in the college? Huh? That sounds ominous. Are you getting yourself into even more trouble? Did you ask Mirabelle? She runs things around here after all. All right then. No one's hurt. I've never heard of anything like that. Did you ask Tolfdir? He's been here a long time and seems to know almost everything. All right then. Cesargo is eager to hear how these scrolls are working. The what of what? No, no idea. If it is important, maybe Tolfdir knows. He seems to it's know always lot. encouraging to see the younger... The key to wards is that they take time to charge. Not long, but you can't start casting with a fireball coming at you. Also, if your ward isn't negated by an incoming spell, it will recharge itself after a moment or two. Just be careful. 
Casting wards requires constant concentration, and you can easily find yourself drained of your magicka reserves. Well now, there's a name I haven't heard in some time. My goodness, it's been years since I've spoken with him. I suppose he's still down in the midden, but I haven't checked. Are you going to see him? Do tell him hello for me, won't you? Underneath the college, it's not the nicest place, so if you go down there, please do be careful. Just All right, then. Bit word of how the college will be here for you no matter what. We always look after our own. Education is never appreciated. Well, I suppose he wouldn't mind. It was all before my time, you understand. I've heard the stories, the, the same as anyone else. He was a brilliant student, an accomplished wizard, delved into magic in a way none had seen before. But I think he became too focused on just how much power he could acquire. That's what led to the accident. Until next time.